Donald Trump has accused the Biden administration of diverting FEMA funds meant for hurricane relief to assist undocumented immigrants. White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre swiftly countered these accusations, categorically denying them as completely false and citing fact-checkers like the Washington Post to support her position. She pointed out that, contrary to Trump's claim, it was actually during his administration that FEMA funds were redirected for immigration-related purposes. Yet, the details to fully substantiate this allegation remain somewhat unclear. Thank you. Uh, former President Trump is accusing the Biden administration of using FEMA funding to support undocumented migrants. How is the White House responding to that? I mean, it's just categorically false. It is not true. It is a false statement. Uh, and look, the fact of the matter is, I think Washington Post fact checker uh, did a piece and the headline recently, just moments ago, not too long ago. And the headline was no, Biden did not take a uh, female relief uh, money to use uh, to use on migrants. But Trump did. I'll leave it there. Secretary McGorris had said earlier this week that uh, he was concerned that FEMA didn't have enough funding until the end uh, for the rest of the hurricane season. Now that President Biden has seen the damage firsthand in the Carolinas, Florida, Georgia, he heard him say at the podium, we may have to call Congress back from recess. What exactly is he waiting for to be able to make that call? Uh, look, here's the thing. We put forth a pretty substantial, robust, I mentioned this moments ago, uh, to be part of the CR. We were disappointed that it was not part of the CR. And if congressional Republicans were serious, if they were really, truly serious about doing something for the communities that was impacted by Hurricane Helene, uh, they would join us in calling for additional funding. This is what we've been doing. And so if they're serious, they would get to, to work and get that done, just like in the, with the border. If they were serious about the border, they wouldn't vote against their own bipartisan uh, proposal that they worked with us on. They're against it now. They weren't. Uh, it, they would move it forward. It would actually start fixing the broken system that we, we're seeing right now. And, you know, they can if they really want to help us in dealing with what we're seeing, whether it's at the border or getting more funding for disaster uh, monies that's going to be needed to get into the communities, they should be serious. Congressional Republicans need to get serious here. And they're just not. Okay. This line of criticism tapped into the broader discontent regarding Biden's handling of the border crisis. Many believe that what they perceive as an open border policy is fueling the crisis and the potential redirection of FEMA funds to aid undocumented immigrants only intensifies those concerns. Jean-Pierre's dismissal of the claim doesn't entirely put the issue to rest, as it reflects a larger debate on the administration's priorities. Conservatives, who often emphasize fiscal responsibility and border security, may view the possible diversion of relief funds as emblematic of misplaced priorities under liberal leadership. The controversy over FEMA funding also underscores deeper public anxieties about government spending. While few would argue against providing relief to hurricane victims, the real question for many is how effectively current funds are managed. FEMA, like other federal agencies, often finds itself at the heart of broader budgetary conflicts, raising doubts about whether more funds are truly necessary or if more efficient management of existing resources is the key. For Republicans, this is not simply a political distraction. It's rooted in a principled opposition to unchecked government spending. They view their resistance as a necessary check on an administration they see as overly eager to spend taxpayer money without sufficient oversight. 